Hey guys, this is Beth for Bethymog 15's Advanced Tap Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of complex steps. Now the reason why I'm calling them complex steps is because there's a few different elements which go into the steps themselves. So the first complex step I'm going to show you is called a ripple. Now there's two different kinds of ripples. The first one um, finishes with the tap step up onto the toe like that. Whereas the second one is a slightly faster movement which goes tap step heel. Now, neither of them are necessarily harder than each other. I guess it just depends on what type of tap dancer you are. For example, I'm quite a light, up on my toes type of tap dancer. So for me, the tap step onto the toe is going to be easier because I'm already up on my toes. Whereas a couple of my friends are quite bent, heavy tap dancers, so the tap step heel is going to be a lot easier for them. So today I'm going to be showing you both of them so you yourself can see which one's easier for you. So they're quite difficult to show because they're, you're using both feet simultaneously. Um, so I'm going to try and show you as slowly as I can and for that reason I'm going to stand on my side today. So for the first one I'm going to show you the, the lighter one, the up on the toe one. So that starts with the right foot doing a tap step up onto the toe. But in the meantime, you're going to be doing a pick-up or a, a pull-back on one foot, on your left foot. So you're almost going, I'll show you again. So try and bend your knees as much as you can because the more bent that you are, even if you're a, um, a higher tap dance up on your toes, the, the lower you are on your, on your knees gives you more... Um, oomph to go up, so you're more likely to get your sounds in in that period of time. So I'll show you again. See how I've ended up on my toes? So I'll show you two in a row. So you do the pick up on the left foot and the brush forward on the right. But you see you start bent and down on the heel for the first one. But then you're up on your toe for your second one. So you're going to have to make your second pick up off your toe. Unless you can silently put your heel down to do another one from the, from the heel. So I'll show you both. See how we go. And now we'll see how we go putting the heel down. Although that's quite hard to do fast, silently putting the heel down. So that's your first type. Now I'm going to show you the second type, which finishes with a heel beat. So you've got to try and make that sound, but you've got less time to do it in. So let's see if I can do it best I can. So you go. So what I like to do, now that I can do both, and now that you can do both, I like to do four of the ones up on the toes and four of the ones go with the heel going down to show the difference in sounds and to almost create accents when you're doing it. So I'm going to show you doing that. Okay, so four up on the toe and four with the heel down. So those are ripples. Now the second um, complex step I'm going to show you today is called a pendulum. Now, if you've seen other videos um, showing how to do pendulums, different people from different places with different training call pendulums different things. But the way that I've been taught a pendulum is you're going to do a brush forward on one leg and then you're going to do a brush back. Seems easy enough. But in the meantime, you're doing two pickups on the other leg. So a pendulum looks like this. And I finish it with the tap heel, so my weight's forward again, because as you do it, your weight starts to go back, and it's more difficult to keep going. So the way to get yourself started is to just do, leave the pickup out, and just do hop, so you get used to that feeling. And then when you're ready to start doing some pickups, you can do your first one brushing forward because in my opinion the brush back is the hardest thing to do because you're brushing back and pulling yourself back and doing a pick up to further pull yourself back. So try to do a pick up with the brush forward. And then once you're ready 
you can start doing pickups with the brush forward and the brush back like this. So I'll show you on the side. Now I cheated a little bit there. But basically, those are your pendulums. Now what you can do next is as you get more advanced, you can move the, the pickups on, on your toes. You can even sneak a pendulum wing in there. But we'll just see how we go. I'm going to try doing them with um, doing them up on my toes. Now I'm going to try and do one with the wing. So the same foot that does the pickup is the one that does the wing. So. So there are some complex steps to have a go at those ones and I'll see you next time.